Oh wow, that's nice. Oh, hit it better. Oh wow, and that was just pure. I haven't hit a single shot that's had more than like three yards of shape on it. They've all been either straight or little draws. I haven't hit a single like wafty push fade, which I'm a bit prone to. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds so pure. I just don't think I can hear it better than that. Oh, wow. That was unreal. Oh. I can't hear it better than that. Oh, that's so good. I recently stumbled across a golf coach on YouTube who I'd never seen before. Now, these days I'm pretty wary of watching too much of that kind of stuff because I've learned from the past that watching too many of those kind of videos can leave you a bit confused and in a bit of a mess. Up is down, down is up. But so much of what this guy was talking about was hitting home with me that I just couldn't ignore it. He was talking about not letting yourself sway off the ball, which is something that I've seen myself doing in videos over the years and always hated. <laughs> He was talking about staying centered to strike the ground in the exact same spot every time to kind of guarantee solid contact, which I've always kind of struggled with, and especially lately. I was hitting about six miles behind the ball on 95% of my full shots. He was talking about keeping weight on the lead leg and not letting the knee collapse in, which was similar to something that Liam Robinson gave me a few years ago, which at the time immediately transformed my ball striking and dispersion. And he was talking about taking your hands in on the takeaway, which if you've watched any of the golf lessons that I've had over the years with various coaches, it's pretty much always the first thing that they identified. Rob had a tendency in the takeaway to do the following move. Sort of yeah. that move, and you can see the big gap between my yeah. arms. Bit of a problem here is that the distance between the butt of the club and the legs right there that is getting bigger it kind of felt like he was talking directly to me addressing all of the problems that i've had and the stuff that he was suggesting seemed so simple which really appeals to me because i've said loads of times that i just don't like the idea of like million super technical swing thoughts because i just can't understand how you can ever take that to the golf course and yeah, expect to play without having to think through a million different things at once. Also, the comments he was getting on these videos made it seem like he was making a big difference to a lot of people. I was very intrigued, so I thought I'd give it a go, and here's what happened. Where is it? I've made some notes on my phone of what I've got to do. Okay, so the first thing is putting 85% of my weight on my lead leg and keeping it there. Really nice. That's nice. That feels good. Oh. Slight chunk that one. Fraction heavy again. It's interesting, I'll show you these divots. The divots with this new thing are like wider and you probably can't see from where you are, but they're a bit deeper than the ones I was taking before. Oh, that felt really nice. Really good contact, really simple. Let's do one more of them, Let's see if we can move on. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. That literally feels like I'm over here just like taking it to there obviously it won't be but that's what it feels like and then just clipping it and it's nice i so much hit one or two of a slightly longer club first just seven iron that was a wedge and then move on to step two more weight I keep finding my weight's just like creeping back onto this foot i'm almost feeling like i can lift it up not bad it feels different. Oh, that is nice. Just focus on that weight. Oh, you can probably see that felt grim. 
more weight on that. So that felt a bit like the thing I did with Liam Robinson a few years ago. Basically like not letting your left knee move in. Just a more extreme version of that. So almost like over here and it all stays there. The second part is keeping your hands lower. So feeling like your hands almost around your hips. So yeah, they're working like in and around rather than up. So there's no lifting. And he said it should feel like you've got a shorter backswing. Let's try that then. Obviously you keep doing the first thing as well. So in and around. Try it slow first. Weight forwards, in and around. In and around. Weight forwards, in and around. So like yeah, around your hip. Definitely feels different, like my um, finish feels much shorter. So yeah, I'm just putting this knee out, all my weight's here, hands going in and around, and I just feel like I've got this kind of Tommy Fleetwood finish. I'm sure it doesn't look like Tommy Fleetwood. Not even close. Okay, so all my weight's going forward, my hands are going to work around the hips. Nice, but I've stopped taking divots now. Okay, so I didn't talk about step three because there was a guy on the range and I felt a bit embarrassed. But um, yeah, step three is basically tilting your shoulder down towards the ball. Tom said, so it's almost like you feel as if your left shoulder is going to touch the ball. Since I've started doing that, I have started hitting a few a bit chunky. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's maybe now there's a few things to think about. I'm not doing them all 
as well as I could, but let's have a look. Right, so weight all forward, hands in, left shoulder down towards the ball, and then maintain that on the next round. I feel like that might have been the first time that I've got it all bang on. I remember he said it might feel like you're actually tilting towards the target and it did there and that was just pure. Oh, that's like half the height of my normal shots. Oh wow, that's nice. That's like a low powerful draw. All the way forward, hands in, it might feel like a tilt towards the target. Very nice. One thing I will say, I haven't hit a single shot that's had more than like three yards of shape on it. They've all been either straight or little draws. I haven't hit a single like wafty push fade, which I'm a bit prone to. Like I've hit some a bit chunky, some probably a bit clean. But the clean ones have been like, they'd have been perfectly good shots. Hit those mud at your own golf bag. Oh, it's pretty nice. Nah, that's the chunky one. Oh, wait for it. I'm really interested to look at these and see if my swing looks the same. It doesn't feel the same. It feels very different. It feels almost like a different sport. All the weights forward, hands in there. I will say it feels slightly more physically demanding. After each shot, I'm finding myself going like a little exhale. I don't know if that's a good thing. liking this though. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, I can do it a bit quicker now, a bit less thought. Ah, a bit of a toe slap. See that was like a fraction thin or clean, but as a shot it would be bang on. <laughs> that was chunked. Okay, wait forward. That is so nice. That is the exact shot shape I love to see. Just a little like one or two yard draw and I just haven't been hitting that for ages. I feel like I'm starting to trust that it is going to do that little draw so then I can start it right whereas yeah, since I basically started playing golf again, I haven't had any faith that that's going to happen. Yeah, it's touch heavy. Weight forward, hands in, shoulder down, and stay there. It's like that much out of toe, but still good. Oh, hit it better. It's nice. Oh. So that's the clean one, but I don't think it's going to cause many problems. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Oh, they just feel a lot more hit 
they're not as like weak and wafty as a lot of my irons have felt for the last few months. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds so pure. Oh, this little thin one. I really want a pure one to finish. All right, last chance. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, what would I say? There's definitely enough there to make me intrigued to want to try that a bit more. Like, I'm not saying everything was perfect, but yeah everything felt a lot more hit i didn't hit a single like weak cutty one which i've been struggling with a lot lately um yeah it did feel it felt so different like a completely different move but it did feel pretty simple you know like within like the first few shots i felt like i was doing it i didn't actually realize at first that what he was teaching is basically a form of stack and tilt if I had realized that, I might never have tried it because I don't know a huge amount about stack and tilt, but I know that a lot of people don't like it and think it's this kind of weird thing that doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I may never have given it a go, but by the time I did realize that, I was already sufficiently intrigued and wanted to give it a go. That first rain session was on a Monday. Um, I couldn't do anything golf-wise on the Tuesday or Wednesday. I went back to the range on the Thursday just partly to try it on a different day and make sure that it was still working, but also I wanted to try it with some longer clubs, particularly my driver. big draws but the wind is coming off that side. Don't mind that because pull up and straighten it out. It's alright, a bit thin again. Oh that's good. Just let it be a bit softer that time. Yeah. I think I've solved golf. Definitely solved golf. Just soften it all up. It's helped. so much less like flicking going on than having to kind of work out and just swing and it's square. Yeah. That's a bit out of tone, it's a big draw. When does a big draw become a hook? That is a delight. That's a six iron. I'm gonna try a few two irons because when this was good, this was like a weapon for me. It could go miles off the tee, keep me in play. But lately I just haven't felt like I can actually hit it properly. Oh wow. That was unreal. Oh my god. If I could hit that every time, oh it'd be dangerous. Oh my god. That is so good. I think this might be it for me. This might be my swing. A bit out of the bottom, but still it would be a good shot. Slight chunk. That's a shame. Right, 
going to try my driver, which I think will be interesting because that's the one club where I don't quite get how the swing would work. Because I feel like keeping my weight forward and all the other stuff will get me kind of hitting down on it. Whereas in my driver, I'd normally be like tilted away from the target and if anything, a bit more weight back. But we'll just see what happens. Fair, that's munch. Tiny bit lower than I normally hit it, but that's not a bad thing. Oh yeah. It's only two shots, but they've both been really good. Right at the middle. See that, but it felt like a big snap left. It felt like I just got really quick and really like tight on it. Seems to be when I try to hit it harder, get a bit, feels like I get a bit quick and like a bit pulley, and then they're going a bit left. Just want to keep it all soft. They seem good. Just wait forward. Interesting. That was really good. That was the first shot I've hit. I think in both rain sessions that had a slight fade. So good. Right, four balls left. If all of these are as good as that, then I've definitely solved golf. Four's one off the tee. Oh, I can't see it, but it felt so pure. Hitting right into the sun, I couldn't see it. Maybe it's munch. I'm having to think about it a little bit more with the driver because it doesn't feel as obviously natural. It feels like more different. solid just can't see well I couldn't see some of the drives at the end there but overall that's gone a lot better than I expected I've not had a chance yet to play golf since I've been trying this stuff but I'm hoping to do that soon so let me know if you want me to record that um, by the way the coach's name is Tom Seguto I'll put links to his channel down below obviously if you're intrigued and you want to try this yourself then please go and watch his videos. Don't just try and take it from me. I'm hoping that no one would be stupid enough to do that. Um, but yeah, obviously he's an actual golf coach, PJ professional. Um, he teaches this kind of stuff and has been doing it for years. Whereas if you're taking it from me, it's just like secondhand, poorly digested probably information. So yeah, if you like the idea of it, then please, please go and watch his videos. Um, he's also got like a free, um, I can't really call it now, but like basically a little free swing course. It's like a series of three videos that you can sign up for, um, which is what I did. If you like the idea of it, go and check him out. Yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if, if you want to kind of keep an eye on this stuff, whether I keep using it, how it goes on the course, that sort of stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the future. Mm -hmm.